Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We are jumping right in to today's evening cleaning video. I wanted to give you guys lots of after dinner cleaning motivation. So definitely make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so before you go. Let's go ahead and get cleaning. So the majority of this video is going to be in the kitchen because I did save up all of the dishes to wash at one time and it is quite a mess here. Sometimes as I'm cooking, I clean as I go and let me know what kind of cleaner you are down in the comments. Are you someone who likes to clean up as you go along or do you save everything until the very end of the night? Sometimes I'm about 50-50, but we made this really delicious dish on this night. It was cream cheese and bacon crumbles and stuff on top of a chicken breast. And so I'm just putting away those leftovers and then we are going to tackle all the things that I have to hand wash. I am handing the dishes off to Jack who's standing behind me so they're not just falling on the floor behind me I promise but I definitely feel so lucky to have someone who is so willing to help me out with dishes we usually have a pretty good system going after dinner I wash and he dries if I got a dollar for every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive alive going to hand wash my tumbler as well. I absolutely love this copper tumbler that I use on my bar cart. I think that it is so cute and I leave it out all the time. And on this night we made Long Island iced teas and I thought I would share the recipe while I am doing this voiceover with you guys in case you want to try one. It was one ounce of vodka, gin, tequila, and rum. And then you're going to do a half ounce of triple sec lemon juice. We did about like two tablespoons and then you mix that all together and we topped it with Coke. You can always change those to your your taste but oh it is so delicious it was so refreshing it's been very hot here so it was definitely a great pairing with our meal So in one of my last couple of videos, I asked you guys whether you were a throw everything in the dishwasher kind of person or if you wash things by hand. And I was actually surprised that the majority of you are like me. You put mostly things in the dishwasher except for your pots and pans and things like that you wash by hand. I definitely feel like I get very lazy sometimes with the glass bakeware here. Sometimes I do throw this in the dishwasher because I just don't want to sit there and scrub at it. But I never really put metal pots and pans or anything like that in my dishwasher even though if they say dishwasher safe I'm just kind of skeptical of it and it just helps to keep them lasting longer but now we are going to move on to cleaning out the sink and the stove top So I tackled my stove first before I cleaned out the sink and you can see that it has lots of grease splatters and stuff on it. We had to make bacon for the dish that we baked in the oven and inevitably grease gets all over the stove. And I feel like this type of cooktop, though it is very delicate and you have to be careful with it, I feel like it is so much easier to clean because you don't have the grates with a gas stove or even the burners that you would have with a traditional electric stove. So I really don't mind cleaning it like this. I also just love the way that it looks when it is all clean. It is super shiny. But 
I have definitely mentioned to you guys before that I read somewhere that your sink in your kitchen is actually dirtier than your toilet. So 100% I clean the sink out very, very often, multiple times a week. And especially on a night like tonight, we thawed the chicken breast in the sink on the right side. And so anytime I thaw meat in the sink, I feel like I have to clean it like this just to disinfect it and everything. Because if I'm washing dishes and stuff in a sink, or putting things in the sink that have been touching raw meat. I just feel kind of weird about that. So I really try to make an effort to clean this out. This is another one of those things that it just doesn't take very long, but it makes such a big difference. And you'll see after I'm done drying it out, how much it sparkles. So now we're going to move on to the countertops and I am using a new product here that I have not used in my other cleaning videos before. This was sent to me by a follower over on Instagram. They have their own family owned business and it is all natural cleaning products and I will leave their Instagram handle down below. It's called My True Earth and so I have been trying out the multi-surface spray that they sent me. It's in an orange bergamot scent and oh my goodness. One, it smells really good. Two, I love non-toxic cleaning products and three, I actually think it does a really good job of cleaning and leaving my countertop shiny. I haven't used it on too many surfaces, so I can't report how it does on everything, but I have only been using it for about a week or so, and so far I'm loving it. As you can see, I'm putting essential oils in my diffuser, so I am definitely a big fan of using all natural things. So I definitely don't do the bathroom every single day after dinner. This is not like a normal daily thing, but it just so happens that I had not done it in a few days and this is the great time to get it done. A lot of times if I want to take a bubble bath or I want to relax or something in the evening, it just feels so much better to have a clean bathroom when I go to do that. So I'm just giving the sink a quick wipe down. I'm going to clean the toilet and everything. And then usually I'll do the shower either when I get in the shower. If I'm taking a bath and I don't do that, but sometimes it's also nice to clean your bathtub and then immediately get in it and know that you have just cleaned it. It just feels so good.
So the last thing that we are gonna do in today's video is in the laundry room, and I don't always normally do laundry at night either, but I was pretty much out of microfibers, which is what I use to clean like 90% of the time. So if I'm out of microfibers, I usually throw in a load of towels, a mop head, any kind of things like that that are dirty, small rugs and stuff I'll throw in here. So this is the perfect time to do that. And then I've checked the lint trap because I mentioned in my last cleaning video that I am very, very bad about checking the lint trap. And then I'm going to actually wipe down the dryer and the washing machine just because sometimes they get lint and dirt and stuff on them. I just want to make sure they're extra cleaned out. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this gave you tons of cleaning motivation to get it done, whatever is on your to-do list today. Definitely make sure that you hit the like button. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure you don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I will see you guys again very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. You know what, baby.